Welcome, dear listeners, to another episode of our Herbal Alchemy series sponsored by eDrugstore.com with Travar Acuna Hughes, resident herbalist, minister, and plant medicine practitioner. Today, we're talking about ayahuasca, the rainforest wonder drug, which can help people to experience miraculous healing while tripping on DMT naturally. Ayahuasca is a powerful psychoactive brew that has been used for centuries by indigenous people in the Amazon basin for spiritual, medicinal, and cultural purposes. Here are some important things to know about ayahuasca before taking it. Ayahuasca has been used for thousands of years by indigenous tribes in the Amazon rainforest for healing, divination, and spiritual purposes. The brew is typically made from Banisteriopsis capi vine and other plants such as Psychotria vertis and Diploteris capriana, which contain the psychoactive compound DMT, dimethyltryptamine. Traditional indigenous ceremonies involving ayahuasca are often guided by experienced shamans or healers, curanderos, who serve as spiritual guides during the experience. Dietary Restrictions and Guidelines Many ayahuasca retreats recommend following a special diet called the ayahuasca diet for at least a few days prior to the ceremony. This diet typically excludes certain foods and substances that may interact negatively with ayahuasca and interfere with its effects. Common dietary restrictions may include avoiding alcohol, caffeine, red meat, spicy foods, fermented foods, dairy products, and certain medications. The purpose of the diet is to prepare the body and the mind for the ayahuasca experience and to enhance its effects. Ayahuasca contains DMT, a powerful hallucinogenic compound that affects serotonin receptors in the brain. The experience of drinking ayahuasca can vary widely from person to person, but often includes profound alterations in perception intense visual and auditory hallucinations, emotional catharsis, and spiritual insight. The effects of ayahuasca typically last several hours, during which participants may undergo intense psychological and emotional experiences. Potential psycho-spiritual benefits. Many people who have taken ayahuasca report profound spiritual insights, emotional healing, and personal growth and a sense of interconnectedness with the universe. Some individuals use ayahuasca as a tool for self-exploration, confronting past traumas and gaining clarity on life purpose and direction. Ayahuasca ceremonies are often described as deeply transformative and may lead to long lasting changes in mindset, behavior, and perspective. Risks. While ayahuasca can have therapeutic benefits for some individuals, it's not without risks. The experience of ayahuasca can be extremely intense and overwhelming, potentially leading to anxiety, paranoia, confusion, and feelings of panic. Some people also experience physical side effects, such as vomiting, diarrhea, increased heart rate, and elevated blood pressure. So who wouldn't want to have all that? plus a spiritual experience. Ayahuasca can interact negatively with certain medications, and this is important, particularly antidepressants, SSRIs, and other psychiatric medications can have very challenging and even long-lasting side effects. Individuals with a history of mental health issues such as psychosis or schizophrenia may be at greater risk of experiencing adverse reactions to ayahuasca. Before deciding to participate in an ayahuasca ceremony or retreat, it's essential to thoroughly research the potential risks and benefits. Consider for your own physical and mental health and ensure that you are in a safe and supportive environment with experienced facilitators, which may include indigenous people or local church officials here in the United States of America, as ayahuasca is considered a religious sacrament under the Church of Santo Daime and the Unio di Vegetal. Additionally, it's important to approach the experience with respect, humility, and willingness to surrender to whatever arises during the journey. Did I mention Aya is very purgative and 
if you plan on taking the substance, it's a great idea to have a bucket nearby to get well in. The purgative nature of plants, psychedelic shamanism, and healing is a video for another time. But the purgative nature of plants, psychedelic shamanism, and healing is a video best saved for another time. Thank you for joining me today for the eDrugStore.com Herbal Alchemy Series. I'm Trevar, and direct some interesting questions to me on Mushroom Shamanism, Insta, and Mushroom Shaman on FB, Twitter, and TikTok. Until next time, remember your puke buckets and watch out for the interdimensional elves.